Is changing your engine oil more regularly really making a difference? We've got 5,000 kilometre, 10,000 kilometre and 20,000 kilometre oil and we're going to show you the real effect of leaving your oil in your engine for too long. When you have a look inside the service manual of your four wheel drive, this 200 series included, you might be shocked to find that they recommend that you change oil every 10,000 kilometers. Now, a lot of people, myself included, reckon 10,000 k's is way too long to wait in between oil changes, especially if you use your four wheel drive hard. So today, we'll have a look at the difference all those extra k's makes on your oil. <laughs> So in front of me here, I've got a bunch of different samples of oil. I've got some brand new oil. This is uh, 15W40, and I've just poured a little bit into the cap here. I've got oil that's 5,000 kilometers old, 10,000 kilometers old, and 20,000 kilometers old. Now what I want to do here, I've got a bit of white paper. I want to pour a little bit onto the paper. Now I want to take note of two things, how it runs down the paper. That'll show me the viscosity of how freely it moves down here. You want it to move nice and freely. Imagine that in your engine, lubricating those um, vital components. The slower it moves, of course, um, that means that it's really not doing its job. And pay attention to how clear it is as well. The darker the oil is, it means more contaminants in the oil. So we'll start with some brand new oil. You can imagine this will be pretty fresh. Okay, as you can see, nice and clear, running down the page beautifully. Um, that is brand new castor oil, so you know it's good. 5,000 kilometer oil. Now 5,000 k's is when, I'm, I've got a bit of a policy with all my vehicles. I use my four-wheel drives hard off-road. I change the oil every 5,000 kilometers regardless of what it says in the factory service manual. So here's 5,000 kilometer oil. All right, now that's running down the page nicely as well. It is dark, there's no two ways about that. That is, um, it's got some contaminants. That's what's happened. As soon as your oil mixes the components in your engine, it's gonna have things like exhaust gas, soot, um, other contaminants in there. So it is gonna discolor the oil, but it's running freely. If you look at the top here, it's actually quite clear considering. So that's not too bad at oil, but that's when I'd sort of typically change my oil. 10,000 kilometer oil. Now this is what a lot of new cars, they suggest you should change oil every 10,000. Now all the common rail utes, my 200 series, um, I don't really abide by that rule, especially if you use your four-wheel drive for what it's built for. Now, as you can see, let's have a look at the difference. Look how dark that is in comparison. So it's moving quite slowly down the bit of paper as well, but just have a look. If you can see that, you can see the different shades there. It is very, very different. Okay, next up, 20,000 kilometer oil. Now, hopefully, this is not you, because if you, you're waiting 20,000 k's to change your oil, you're, um, you're not doing your engine any favors at all. Now, <laughs> pick this stuff, it's like tar. Wow. Look at that, it's going down the page like glue. Put a fair bit of oil on the page there. Now, let's have a look at it. Now, at 10,000 kilometers, you can see, look how darker it is compared to 5,000, but the 20,000, it doesn't even have any light. Even when I first poured it on the paper, it's completely pitch black. And um, that oil has so much contaminants on it, I doubt it'll be doing its job properly. You can imagine this in your engine. It's not coating your parts as well as a newer oil, and see all that contamination in the older oil that sticks and stays put? There's a chance of leaving these deposits on components, which will begin wearing and rusting. Engine oil has two main jobs. Lubricate so there's no metal on metal wear, and just as importantly, control contamination. In other words, capturing the soot that the engine creates and making it able to pass through the engine without leaving any deposits or wear on any of the components. This is why clean engine oil turns black. So think about it like this. Here I've got a little cup of water. Imagine that's brand new engine oil. Now as you drive around, I'm gonna add a bit of mud. Now the mud, picture that as soot and contaminants. Now you get a little bit of mud, Ugh, that's pretty gross. Chuck that in. Now it's gonna discolor that water straight away, there's no doubt about it, but the viscosity is still pretty good. Like it's, it's still very easy to stir. Now if I introduce more and more mud, you can see what's gonna happen here. Oh, there we go. There's a couple of hard four wheel drive tracks. There's a bit of irregular servicing. You've been sitting in traffic a lot and not really getting that vehicle up to engine operating temperature. As you can see, the more soot you chuck in, well, 
Look how black that water becomes, but more importantly, look how hard it is to stir. You can hear that. It's really thick, and the color of that, well, you can see there's a lot of contaminants in that oil. When you get a lot of contaminants in your oil, it's not effectively doing its job to protect the vital components of your engine. So, the longer you leave your oil in your four-wheel drive, or the harder you work your engine by towing or four-wheel driving or in constant traffic, the more the oil will thicken and become less efficient at controlling contamination there's a chance of leaving these deposits on components, which will begin wearing and rusting. If you've got a petrol engine, you might be wondering if the same rule applies to you. The answer is yes. However, leaving your oil in longer for a petrol causes a different issue. Petrol doesn't generate soot particles in large quantities. However, the oil does get contaminated by fuel and water vapor when a petrol engine isn't getting up to optimal operating temperatures. When an engine is repeatedly driven in conditions where the oil doesn't reach the right temperatures, nitration can occur, which turns the oil brown and sludgy. This sludge prevents enough oil reaching metal surfaces, which can lead to premature wear. Another reason why you should be changing your oil before it gets too contaminated is the sooty deposits the oil leaves in the engine are picked up by the fresh oil you put in, immediately degrading that oil. But this is the part where I want to hear from you guys because I've got some really cool prizes to give away. Let us know in the comments below how often you service your four wheel drive and why. Now, go through everything like your engine, your diffs, your gearbox. I'm really keen to know what sort of service intervals you put your own four wheel drive through and the best three answers are gonna win a year's supply of oil from our mates over at Castrol. So make sure you get um, commenting below. Towing heavy loads, four wheel driving or any other way you can make your engine work hard will produce more soot and contaminate your oil faster. But did you know that short trips in your four wheel drive put your engine through more stress than just about any other type of driving, especially in winter? Modern diesels take more time to get to perfect operating temperature, around 90 degrees. Something that just takes longer in low speed congested traffic. So, when your diesel engine's cold, the combustion process really isn't as efficient. You're going to get a lot more soot and contaminants inside that oil compared to when your vehicle's had a chance to warm up, say, say when it's doing highway kilometres or a big long drive. Now, likewise with exhaust uh, recirculation, so your EGRs, of course, are going to be amplified when that vehicle's cold or you're doing a lot of driving in traffic. And um, that's not great for your oil. It's going to contaminate that oil a lot more. And you'll find that if you're not doing large kilometres in your vehicle on a regular basis and doing a lot of stop-start sort of driving, turning that vehicle off when it hasn't got to the ideal running temperature, your 5,000 kilometre oil um, is going to look more like 10 or 15,000 kilometre oil because obviously all those contaminants get inside that oil. So it really does pay to um, drive your vehicle, allow it to get warm, and that way you're going to get a better service interval. What I want to show you here is a classic case of how 10,000 kilometres is not the same for every vehicle. Now this 10,000 kilometre oil has just been regular driving, nothing too crazy, and I want to show you what it looks like. Now you saw this before on, on the white paper. I'll put about half a teaspoon of that on the, on the paper. Okay. You can see, nice and black, definitely time for a surface. There's no two ways about that. What I want to put it up against is another little um, tub of 10,000 oil, but you'll notice it's got Tim written in front of it. Now, Tim actually works in our office. Now, he drives a, a modern common rail diesel. He's done 10,000 k's in that oil, but he lives in the inner city. So he only does short bursts to and from work. The vehicle rarely gets a chance to heat up and he doesn't go more than about 60 k's an hour to and from work. So the majority of his driving is in between cafes and things like that where he's not really getting up to highway speed. Now let's have a look at 10,000 k's of Tim's oil compared to the first sample. Now, now there's black oil and then there's black. Now check out the difference here. That is more like 15 or 20,000 kilometer oil. Compared to the 10,000, which you can actually see a fair bit of light in the top of that, this is almost jet black. So it goes to show that your driving style is gonna make a huge difference on when you should service your vehicle. And also it pays to have a quality oil, just like this Castrol Magnatec, because the better quality oil, of course, is gonna protect your engine for longer in between service intervals. Most engine oils aren't working their best until they get to operating temperature because additives need heat to activate. 
However, Magnatech is different, containing a unique additive found only in castor oil products. These cling to metal surfaces even under cold starts. So it'll protect your engine while it's warming up and reduce engine wear significantly. So unless you own a four-wheel drive that doesn't really do much four-wheel driving, spends a lot of its time on the highway and not so much in traffic, um, you really need to shorten those um, periods between your service intervals to get the best out of your diesel motor. Now, when it comes to my fleet of four-wheel drives, I, um, I pretty much cut the service intervals in half, with the exception of the newer vehicles. Something like this 200 series, I probably change oil every about 7,000 kilometers. And something like the farm truck behind me, or big old sooty, which gets worked really hard, I make sure I change that oil every 5,000 kilometers religiously. And I also use an oil that I can trust. You know, the better quality oil, the better it's gonna protect the vitals inside that engine of yours. I hope you got a lot out of this video, just like I did. I learned a heck of a lot. And uh, well, it's one of those things as well, if you ask me, oil really is cheap insurance for your pride and joy.